Hey everybody. Okay, just installed um, Paranoid Android 4.4.2 version 4.0 beta. Um, I just came, I was running Signer Mod uh, 11 4.4.2, of course, a nightly version. Um, what I've done, the reason I went back to Paranoid, because Paranoid was the original one to have 4. the KitKat ROM. Um, I went back to them because now they're the only ones to have a stable overclock kernel, as you can see here. This is your stock right there, that 2265 or 2.2.0, uh, roughly 2.3 gigahertz right now. I'm keeping it simple right now. I got it at the 2.3, roughly 2.3 gigahertz, um, which is just um, Google works great. You get into the browser, um, you open a page up. Say you want to see the full desktop site. I've opened the wrong page. Um, let's go to something like uh, let's go Apple here. New. New York Times. It's always what Apple opens up. So that's what we'll do. And you know what? We'll put it in desktop version. Why well, I said live slow today, do they not? Maybe I here we go. Desktop site please. Can you not get the desktop site anymore? Anyway, it runs extremely smooth. Um, find that weird. Could be a bit of a as well. Um, oh, there we go. As you can see, it just runs extremely fluid. Nice. with a uh, screen recorder running and the microphone's enabled and I've got it set to the highest well the second to the highest the highest will make it crash um, resolution possible to give you the best view and experience anyway this is how you get this ROM you go to xda.com or use the app and what you do is you're going to search for this one right here this one right here PAEK kernel D800 or your variant the D800. This is it right here. Uh, this Lawler's. I'm going to go to the first page. What I always do is I completely go through the entire forum before I download anything. That's your download link right there. You got out of there first, first downloading it again. Um, very small download. That's your kernel, that's your overclock kernel. Here's your change log and list of features. You do need Foxcock uh, app. You can simply go to the Play Store to get this. There it is right here. Type in Foxcock on the Play Store. I'm going to show you how to do everything step by step. There it is. It's downloaded. You opened it. This controls your... This will not only control... I mean, you think, you know, hey, my built-in uh, performance control, my ROM will control my clock speed. Yes, it will, but because of thermal throttling it changes them back down it will throttle down so easily this is a cp this uh fox clock has the ability to run overclock kernels and run at that high clock speed that you need but only at certain times um like per app control where where do you need the fastest clock speed and benchmarking apps and as you can see it's already I didn't even enter these. It suggests that the max you can see at 24 at 2.5 gig, uh, gigahertz uh, per second at the minimum of uh, <clears throat> of um well 96,000 megahertz, you know, which is you not know, very fast, but still it's better than you know 300 uh, or I'm sorry 30 uh, 30,000 30, megahertz. I mean, not megahertz, I'm sorry, so sorry, kilohertz, whatever it is. Anyway, um, the GPU max frequency, as you can see, is maxed out. Um, 
that's not max, that's only at, uh, it's only like 2 million. Um, of course, you know, GPUs run much, it's, it, it, there, it's, it's Hertz, not a, not a gigahertz, so, it's, don't think that's, that sounds incredibly fast, that's pretty much normal. But anyway, you can save it, you can also set it for any, any of these, and also same settings for that maxed out, in performance mode. You want to make sure per app control is on, these, these will reset on boot. Um, I'll put that somewhere where you can always get to it. But anyway, once that's downloaded, I'm going to go into recovery, boot into recovery. And that's using the TWRP manager to simulate the recovery because I actually don't want to go in there because the recorder doesn't work when you're outside of the Android operating system. <laughs> anyway, first thing we're going to want to do is, nope, not restore. First thing you want to do is make a backup. Swipe that, make your backup. Once that's done, you're going to wipe. Now you're going to be wiping your Delphic cache, your cache, your data, and your system. And I repeat that again. This is for D800 use. I don't know if it may be different for a different variant of the G2. You're probably you're wiping, and trust me, you're wiping cache, Delphic cache, um, data, and system. After the wipe is complete, you're then going to want to go to, um, first of all, go to mount. I can open it here. Make sure that your cache, your system, and um, your, what, what's the other file? Whatever, the, there's three of them. Make sure they're all three mounted. You're going to go install. Now, wherever your download folder is. And all your downloads went here, of course. If you've got your phone set up like everybody else that has custom ROMs. You're going to select your, this is your ROM right there, that Paranoid Android underscore G2 4.0 beta. Designed 12-22-2013 for the D100 model zip file. Yes, I would like to add another zip. You're going to add your GAPs or your GAPs, your Google Apps. Paranoid Android GAPs modular mini 4.4.2. Yes, one more. The last one you want to add is your ATT PAEK G2 version 5.2 designed um, 12-27-2013 that is your overclock kernel one more thing you want to add if you, if, you, if, you, if you go to HDA search for the LG quick remote for a weird variant of the G2 um, like mine like there's the uh, E980 and mine the D100 happens to be this right here the I've got two of them on accident the quick remote or QR so like QR Q remote G2 underscore slim three unsigned. Um, that's right. Once you got them all on there, swipe it. It's a beautiful, clean flash, at least on mine anyway. If you get everything right, um, it does it pretty quick. I think the entire, the whole total flash time. Now this is including the racing or uh, wiping everything. Wipe time with G2 is so slow on Team Win. Um, but anyway, the flash time was maybe, I'm talking from the, the instant that you swipe that flash, uh, button, or flash toggle, um, to the point where you're signing in your, your um, G, your, uh, Gmail account, is maybe seven to ten minutes. It's very fast. You know this. Anyway, the phone runs extremely smooth. Keep in mind, I've got um, I've got a uh, screen recorder running, which can bog it down, bog it down a good bit. Um, as you can see, the processor speed has dropped, and this is because probably because the thermal throttling is in because the charger is plugged up. I've got the brightness kind of turned up. I'm running this app. Um, different things like that. But let's just say I opened. Quick bench. That will go up once it starts running, but you were to go in here to your fast clock. Let's see what happens when I actually run it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, thermal rolling is kicked in completely. That's this no this was just one of the tweaks you want to uh work out. Make sure you close all this stuff because that's affecting your your uh temperature as well. Uh don't worry about the temperature the thing has the thermal bottle shut down. Uh or like a thermostat in a car is gonna be it's too hot to turn the phone off. phones they feel like they're getting warm they're actually getting when the phone feels like it's getting hot that means the internal CPU temperature is probably around 200 and something it may be even 250 or so if it feels hot to the touch especially on this phone um but anyway if you were to do stuff like uh, lower the brightness unplug my charger As you see, the maximum PCPU has jumped up to 2265 just from me unplugging my charger and lowering the screen brightness and putting my charger back up. And uh, raise the screen brightness a little bit. Check it again. But anyway, um, you know what? I am just about tired of Circle Mod. I mean, I used to love it, but I think I'm just going to stick with the regular bar. Yeah, I'm sticking with the regular bar. Anyway, guys. Oops. Let me turn my down and I'm blind than everybody. That's it. I hope you have a great experience with this. Um, it works great. Um, the network works fine. Wi-Fi works. Phone, the dollar works. Everything works beautifully. Um, just to prove it, I guess. That's my work number. I know nobody's there. Oh, I there you go. Everything works. Like I said, of course the Wi-Fi works, or I wouldn't be using it. But to prove that the network data works, there's the LTE pop-up, and I can still search crap. So. I hope your installation goes smoothly. Um, I hope this uh, tutorial helped you out. <clears throat> hope it was detailed enough. Sorry I rambled on about some stuff. Wow, it's 30 degrees. But anyway, best of luck to you. Until next time. Uh, what's the next kind of cool, catchy thing can I say? Keep calm and flash ROMs. Hey, that's that, that's cool. That's a pretty pimp right there. I'm, just, that, I'm making that t-shirt. <laughs> anyway, guys. We'll talk to you later. Or... See you later, it's YouTube.